Hello, I'm Tim Durham with Durham's Bee Farm and I'm going to talk about laying workers today. Uh, but first, let me mention the number one rule of beekeeping. The number one rule in beekeeping is enjoy your bees. Have fun, enjoy them. Don't worry about what you don't know. You, you, you will, you, in, as you enjoy your bees, it will come to you. And you know, a, a driver ed, uh, a driver ed uh, teacher, when he's taking kids out and teaching them how to drive, he tells them, you don't worry about the other driver, you just, you pay attention to what you're doing. And the same thing applies to beekeeping. Don't worry about what, what you don't know, just enjoy the bees. And don't worry about anything. Uh, I, I've got videos. Uh, uh, if you look at all my videos, I got some videos that pertains to putting frames together. Uh, I've got some videos on having a swarm. So uh, if you've never put a package of bees in your hive, you can do it. If you've never gone out and got a swarm, you can do it. Now I have to tell people to wear protection. Okay, I have to do that. But uh, 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 to go out and get a swarm and to put packaged bees in your hive is 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 fun. It's exhilarating, and and you'll enjoy it. Now, uh, uh, one other thing. Let me mention one other thing that pertains to this time of the year and coming up. Um, uh, before we get into to laying workers, uh, uh, feeding your bees. Let me remind you, don't be sloppy with your sugar syrup. Don't drip it around on the hive. You do not, you do not want to get robbing started. Robbing, uh, once robber bees start to rob a hive out, then it's all over with. By the time you discover you have robber bees, it's too late. So be very careful. Now, when you go into the hive and you set one or two frames out, you can get a, uh, a bed sheet, you know, a part of an old bed sheet, because that's a slick, kind of a slick material. And you can just cover up those frames that you're sitting outside and, and you can cover, you can gently cover up the other side of the hive that, uh, that you're not working on yet. And so that will help keep down robber bees. Now, uh, concerning laying workers, the, the number one rule on laying workers is don't worry about it. Uh, maybe I need to rephrase that. Uh, I think a lot of people, nine times out of ten, you don't have land workers. It, uh, most of the time when people, they go in the hive, they can't find the queen, they can't even find eggs. But chances are they've got a queen in there. Chances are they've got a virgin queen in there. And that's why you don't see any eggs. So, uh, but... So, if you don't see a queen in there, there's a good possibility there's one in there. You just hadn't found her because of the type point. She might be a runner. She might be on the bottom board running back and forth. That's what I call a runner. You might have a hider. Some queens can hide from you. So, uh, concerning laying, if you want to confirm... There's a lot of things in beekeeping that is not uh, uh, precise. It's a matter of opinion in so many variables. But if you go into your hive and you take some frames out, brood frames, and you see some, some little white specks, you see two or three or four or maybe five, 
When you pull a frame, a brood frame, out of a hive, and you're looking down in the cells, and you see what looks like small rice, and uh, uh, a bee egg, the queen egg, is about uh, about a fifth the size of a rice. But that'll give you an idea what it looks like. And a lane worker, if you see about two to five eggs down in there scattered around, then you do have plain workers. That That's a fact. Now, uh, if familiarize yourself, and, and, and in fact, new beekeepers, you know, they have a difficult time looking for the eggs. So, most people have computers, go to Google, and type in images. And then on the next screen, click on Google Images. And then type in worker layers, lane workers. I'm sorry, lane workers. And there's a there's a lot of real good pictures in there of, of lane workers, the, the result of lane workers, those eggs in the bottom of those cells. And you can also do the same thing with just the egg, a, a queen egg in the bottom of the cell. And, uh, uh, and you can familiarize yourself what to look for. But uh, uh, once you have uh, lane workers, then uh, to keep it real simple, you... you you really can't, for all practical purposes, you can't salvage that hive. You do not want to put a, a new queen in there that you paid for. So uh, what most people have done is uh, you carry that hive off as far as you can, maybe in some tall grass, uh, maybe smoke them first before you move them, and then carry that hive off and literally, literally shake all the bees off of that hive on in the grass. And be sure there is none left on the frames. And so you could, however you want to do it, you could take two frames at a time back to the original location. And then if you, you get all the bees out of the hive, the wooden hive itself, and carry it back. And... Uh, so, uh, it's the general consensus that the lane workers will not fly back. Then you could take a frame of eggs out of another hive and put in there. And if they start making a queen in there, then you know you've gotten rid of all the lane workers. There's kind of different ways you can do that. And uh, But I'm trying to keep it simple. And uh, if you have any questions, let us know. Uh, if you have any comments, let us know. Uh, I read, I read every one of them, and uh, let us know what country you're in, what state you're in, because people in the south are a month and a half too much ahead of us. People in the north, we're on uh, latitude 35, about even with Memphis. So uh, let us know how how your new hives going. And uh, it's going to be exciting. It's 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 very exciting to go into your new hive, your bees. Uh, so let us know. And uh, if you like the, the video, if it helps you, uh, right underneath the video on the right hand side, you'll see a thumbs up. And if the video helps you, if you like it, then click on that. It'll give me a blue ribbon. Now, if you don't like it, don't don't do anything. So, well, uh, let us hear from you and let us know where you're located. And the next video I do, I hope to do soon on splitting your hive. And that one will be interesting also. Hello, I'm Tim Durham. I'm getting old. And uh, I've always liked a garden, especially tomato, tomato plants. And I wrote my son in prison. The other day, and I told him, uh, I said, son, I tried to dig my garden up to plant my tomato plants, and 
and uh, it was too hard. I couldn't do it. Dry and hard. And uh, a couple days later, I got a letter from my son. He said, Pop said, uh, don't dig up that garden. That's where the bodies are hidden. I thought, oh my. Well, the next morning, a truckload of FBI agents showed up with shovels. They commenced to digging up my garden. A couple days later, I got a letter from my son. He said, uh, Pop said, garden ought to be dug up by now. He said, that's the best I can do for you. <laughs> All right, look, if, uh, if you want to have a, a free laugh, it won't cost you nothing, uh, go to YouTube and type in Durham Humor, as in Durham, North Carolina. Durham Humor, H-U-M-O-R. Type in Durham Humor, and I've got a bunch of videos there, funnies, you know, I like to tell. And if you like them, go down underneath, on the right-hand side underneath, and, and there's a thumbs up. That means you like it, and click I like. If you don't like it, then don't, don't do anything. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye.